All year long we do jujitsu, but in December we put on ugly Christmas sweaters. And people have a lot of problems dealing with people who are wearing ugly sweaters. I have problems dealing with people wearing ugly Christmas sweaters. So the most important thing to remember when you're making the transition from no gi or from just starting out fighting guys wearing ugly sweaters is you've got to control the grips, right? You cannot give the guy a good grip on your sweater, or is it be a cardigan? Is it a cardigan when it's split open? I think it is. Yeah, I'm just blinded by the green. Yeah. I'm not quite sure exactly. You don't want to give the guy control over both of your sleeves. If you give the guy control over both of your sleeves of your ugly Christmas sweater, you can get set up for some really ugly throws. A sore tsurikomigoshi. You can get set up. You know, if you let the guy control the grips here and here, you can get uchi modded. You can get thrown. So you've got to really control the grips. If I get a grip on Richie's ugly Christmas sweater, he needs to break that grip. There. Then he tries to control the grips by getting his grip that he wants. Whatever that is. Whatever he feels comfortable. If I get a grip on Richie's sleeve, he's got to break that. He can't let me control the grips. I have a friend who recently made the transition from no-gi and MMA to ugly Christmas sweater wrestling. And he was having real problems until I made the point that the first thing you do, like, like let's go down to the ground. If I'm trying to pass the guard, in your guard please. Before I do anything else, before I pass, I have to break the grips on my sweater. Right? If he's got my sweater, I have to get rid of that. I fight, 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 fight until I have the grips that I want, or at least that he doesn't. Then, when I've broken all the grips, then I pass the guard. Similarly, for Richie, he's going to fight, 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 till he has the grips that he wants. When he has the grips, then he sweeps. You take a look. One of the best examples here, I use him a lot, because he's greatest of all time grappler, Marcelo Garcia. You watch him pass the guard, and it is fight, 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 fight. Then he's free. There's a lapse when there's no control over his sweater, and then there's a guard pass. So I think it's the most important thing. When you're making the transition from no gi or MMA to sweater wrestling, you just got to learn a couple basic chokes, right? If I'm here and I've never seen a sleeve choke before or a collar choke before, right? I could get choked out here. Richie could hit me with a sleeve choke using the uh, sleeve of his ugly Christmas sweater and tap me out. Once you learn the grip breaking and a couple of specialty attacks, right? There, there aren't that many attacks. Basically, to choke someone out, you need a deep grip in their lapel. There are other, there are other attacks, of course, but once you're learning that this is a huge problem when the person gets a really deep grip on the sweater, and if it's not a particularly strong sweater, if they gather up the grip here, this is a real problem. Once they've got this grip here, they can make that other connection and choke people out, move you around. So, break the grips, and you will be a much better ugly Christmas sweater grappler. I have no idea if that'll work or not. That's so. great. <laughs> okay, this is the last time I take fashion advice from you. On this is the last time I take advice on you with you for anything. Would you like a hat to go with that? No, seven. There's boundaries. Don't pick up another hat. Don't <laughs> I'm not wearing a hat.